is Armando Alvarez. Hey! Rancher. Ah! Son. Si Lover. Hey! Vigilante. I don't know exactly where, when, but, you know, from... Uh, I've just had the, this idea for the longest time of putting myself in... Uh, uh, well, it, it, it stemmed from watching telenovelas and uh, not that I'm a aficionado by any means, but... Uh, oh, someone's going to call. Oh, mom's going to call. You should answer that. Hello? <laughs> Hi. Who's this? Who? No, this is Will Farrell. Are you looking for John? Who are you looking for, John or Ryan? Oh, Sarah. Yeah, she's down here at the end of the table. She's trying to she's trying to interview me right now. Do you, uh, should she call you back? Or are you home? Okay. No, I know it came up. It said mom on there. So just know. You're in. The, you're on speed dial as mom. Okay. Yes, you should. You should be. You should love that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, come on down. We'll be here all day. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. So call mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Do you want to do anything with um, this? Uh, or? Yeah, I don't know. It's the first time I've been seeing. <laughs> First time, first and last time you're using it? Yeah, uh, basically. Not an iPhone, so there you um, go. Proves you're good at improv, though. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? you got to be able to you like, be able handle to roll those with situations. It. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, the uh, <laughs> I was just watching telenovelas and how ridiculous the, they are. Yeah. And, and, uh, and I mean that lovingly. Uh, but that I just thought, oh, that'd be funny to put yourself in the middle of one of those and to actually commit to, and not have the joke be that you're speaking Spanish poorly, but to actually try to speak as well yeah. as I possibly could. Like this could actually be something you saw it, it, on Right, TV. and that you're, the, the premise being that you're watching a movie and it's an entire Latino cast and that Will Ferrell is essentially playing a Mexican actor <laughs> as part of this cast. And right. That was the idea. Yeah. But so, I, and I had it for a while and then I heard I kept going, God, that'd be funny to do, and, and I really want to do that. And then I and then I had heard a rumor that someone was writing a script about telenovelas, and I thought, oh, if I I better do it, otherwise someone's going to jump on that idea before I do. And was the whole uh, beginnings of Funny or Die, uh, like, can you talk a little bit about working with your buddies on that and how, how much they brought to the table in terms of this particular project, you know, and in, in, uh, kind of helping you realize the whole thing? Um, in, in terms of how it relates to Funny or Die? Well, because, uh, I mean, the, the, the people that are directly involved with right. this, it's the same team for Funny or Die, so it's kind of like a first big sort of cinematic uh, um, nodding for you guys to... Yeah, I mean, uh, well, Matt Piedmont, uh, uh, who directed it, uh, he and Andrew Steele, who wrote it, Andrew Steele's kind of like our creative director of Funny or Die. Right. Um, who we lured from SNL to, to kind of help run the site, and then uh, and then people we all got hired roughly around the same time. Matt's been running around doing shorts and um, and and has done a lot of stuff for for FOD and uh, and for the HBO show. And uh, you know, Andrew and I, we actually had always talked about doing a movie together. And as part of his deal, we actually owed uh, paying him on a script. So I said, why don't you use this? as the script and yeah. so he wrote it and then we thought oh Matt would be perfect to direct it and that's 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 kind of how it it all happened I mean there wasn't anything that the three of us did specifically for the for the site right. that led to this but uh, you know uh, it, it was uh, it was definitely three people who we've all worked together and wanted to work together on, on, a, on a bigger project <laughs> yeah yeah that's that the look an of an actor just trying to remember their lines in Spanish. Yeah, that's exactly very. You nailed it. Uh, yeah. No, I didn't. I, I know enough Spanish to where I didn't. I wasn't learning it phonetically, but uh, but I did. Uh, this guy, uh, Patrick Perez, who translated the script 
from English to Spanish just offered up to to be my coach and uh, so he we started working about a month out from the beginning of excuse me of filming and then he would he would come to my house every day you know depending on the call a lot of times five in the morning five thirty we'd drive because where we shot was about an hour outside of LA so we just drive for an hour and go over the lines for that day and then drive back home and start the work for the next day so I just had to kind of continually work on the Spanish around the clock but but yeah if anyone improvised I I had I never knew <laughs> so they could yeah. be calling you yeah, yeah. sort of name in the book go. and you wouldn't know <laughs> are they done speaking <laughs> and go yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, well, we, we, you know, we, we were lucky in that Diego and Gael were a little bit of one-stop shopping in that they're represented by the same agent here in the States. And, uh, and we had, she had read the script and thought, oh, that's really funny. And let me, I'll reach out to these guys. And, and we just got lucky that, that I think Diego read it first and was, uh, he was actually mad when he read it because he said, he said, my first reaction, I was so angry that we didn't think of this idea. Uh, and, and he loved it. And but then Gael read it, and, they, and they, they, really, they really saw it as a, well, they don't get to ask, they're, they're not asked to ever do comedy, number one. Number two, uh, to kind of do a send-up of, of telenovelas and these kind of, these cheesy spaghetti westerns that, you know, that were, that were, Predominant in Mexican cinema in the early '70s, uh, and and they also loved kind of what it said about uh, the cliche views that Mexico has about the U.S. and vice versa, and 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 they and they just were we were just lucky that they wanted to to be a part of it because it 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 obviously gives the movie legitimacy, you know, in the eyes of Latinos to have uh, actors of their caliber. Uh, being on the screen, so. Uh, um, it was pretty fast. I think I think we uh, we went into Nala Films, you know, probably in the spring, uh, and or maybe maybe January, and then Andrew. Of last year. What now? Of last year. Uh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then. Uh, uh, Andrew wrote the script, and by by that October, I want to say, we were filming. Wow! Yeah. That's really so, but it wouldn't have been October of last year. It would have been. Was it two years ago? Like, uh, yeah, it couldn't have been last. It's two years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know because I wasn't a part of it. That was Matt Piedmont able to convince them to work for, you know, five thousand bucks or whatever it was. And yes, and I don't know if that was built or if that was just something they had lying around the warehouse. Uh, but yeah, I don't have a lot of answers for you. Yeah. We'll just we'll pretend that they let one of their children build it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they could just say it's from. Yeah. 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 He was, uh, he was great, you know, he was, he was kind of this, a throwback to like the old Hollywood actor, you know, he had, uh, he's been in so many films. Yeah, yeah and, and these amazing. great stories of, you know, because uh, his father was, was a huge star in Mexico as well, and stories of hanging out with John Wayne and all, all these amazing kind of uh, things, and uh, which we kind of, shared John Wayne stories because as a kid uh, I didn't know it nor do I remember it but at three or four years old I walked up to this man and said hello and it was John Wayne <laughs> no way and, uh, <laughs> in a drugstore and uh, he picked me up and asked me what I wanted for Christmas and a little crowd gathered around and he told a story of he just finished a football movie with Pat O'Brien or something like that and and uh, and you're like, why is the stranger holding me? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't. And of course, so we both. Uh, so I, I told him my John Wayne story, which 
I don't think he cared about. But uh, <laughs> but uh, but no, he was he was he was just great. He was great. He knew exactly what to do. He was uh, um, and you know everyone. I mean, even though the movie is arch and <laughs> and silly and over the top, everyone kind of really performed uh, in an earnest way, you know, yeah. it, it was, it was, uh, kind of fun to watch him give an award winning performance. Uh, you know, like, cause it has like yeah. a production value or an intentional Yeah, production yeah, value. I, I mean, they're, uh, I, I think they're both, they're both great. I mean, it's, it's, it, when it shocks you and smacks you in the face, it's really funny and, uh, and, and then on the other hand, a movie like this, we it was it was it was a great game to figure out how many how many flubs we could figure out to put in the movie, and uh, and that's why it's really fun to watch it with an audience because each audience reacts differently and and points out different things, and uh, and a lot of the stuff I forgot that we even put in the movie, and uh, uh, but yeah, either either way. You see, now this is becoming more of a legend now. Because okay. if you if you literally if we took a list of all my movies, that it'd be a, probably a less than ten percent okay. show my butt. Yeah. <laughs> um, was it your idea or, or no? Else's? That that was written in the script that uh, that that we would that that Sonia and I would kiss and it would leave to lead to a dramatic love making scene, but that the the scene would just literally be. Shots of butts, and I think Andrew wrote, "Shots of butts, period. Lots and lots of butts, period. Way too many butts." And when I read that, I thought, "Oh, that is that is a perfect way to spoof a lovemaking scene." And did you consider a body double, or are you just never? Like, no. no. Okay. <laughs> but my butt is not the one that you think it is. Okay. Oh, Mine's okay. the one that looks like the lady's butt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the other, the other hairy, more muscular butt is Genesis, okay. but which. <laughs> Which she's not going to like that I said that, but it's true. So she's I want to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be honest. Yes. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I made it. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I mean, uh, you know, we. Uh, here's the thing: the the all, unless they're lying to me, all all. Most, if not all, of the Latino press have, have just kind of loved the movie, and they—they, they, I've even had people thank me for making it. Be, I think only be, uh, for a couple of reasons. I think because you don't really get to see that many opportunities for Latino actors to to have comedies dedicated solely to them, and uh, um, and the fact I think it'd be different if I if I was just speaking bad Spanish and not really should, you know, taking care of the language, so to speak. Um, uh, but the fact that we kind of, at the same time, we also, you know, some people were like, how, how did you know about the, like, we love, like, the narco story, and, and how did you, you know, it's a great kind of comment on what both sides are going, and we were like, well, yeah, yeah we knew what we were doing all along. Um, <laughs> we did extensive research. Yeah, extensive, you know. <laughs> but, but the fact that it, it I think it, um, it's kind of fair to both sides that, that, that we're, we're safe. And that's what we intended. I, I'm trying to think. I mean, the, 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 um, the shooting of the Butts lovemaking scene was a very unique experience, uh, especially when, when we, we brought the mannequin in. Uh, <laughs> That was pretty crazy. I mean, one of the scenes that makes me laugh a lot is uh, there's just like you said, there's a lot of subtle moments. There's there's moments where when Diego's character first introduced and we ha we have this embrace. Oh my brother, we're so close. And if you, you look, he subtly pushes me out of the way as hard <laughs> as he can. There's little moments like that where and uh, when we. When I, when Sonia and I go horseback riding and the, the trees are being, I mean they're literally being <laughs> yeah. pulled on a dolly with guys getting just below the frame line and then they reset and they start to pull them again. 
those those touches just just kill me. And also to the uh, when we get to the the pond of the seven tears and. Genesis says, oh, it's the most beautiful place I've ever seen, and it's the crappiest set <laughs> ever. Like, that kind of stuff kills me. We're, we're still trying to fight to make Anchorman 2, and, uh, um, and then, uh, yeah, Step Brother, it's, it's crazy how much uh, that movie's kind of had this life outside of its initial release, and uh, even though it did, did great, but so, I, I, I don't know, I think there's a... I, I don't know. We're, we're, I don't want to say anything because then it gets because then it goes on the internet and everybody yeah. thinks and it's gospel. It, it, yeah. and, and then and then oh, I heard, I heard you guys are making it. So we're um, yeah, we're just talking about all of it. Yeah. How about how's that for a vague answer? Soy Armando Alvarez. Casa de mi padre. March sixteenth.